Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace these uh, rubber um, mounts that uh, go to the radiator on a uh, 2006, well 2002 through 2006 uh, Nissan Sentra. As you can see that they just wore out and they let the radiator just bounce around. So we're going to replace them. Um, super cheap. I just went with the uh, Dorman um, part part off of Amazon it was like six bucks shipped uh, my advice is always go to Rock Auto and look up your car um, in the database of rockauto.com and look up the part that you're needing and then find the part number and compare it compare that to how much it costs ship to have it shipped uh, through Rock Auto versus Amazon Prime and uh, you can get some really good deals that way. So these are the new parts, just rubber parts. All we have to do is take a, a 10 millimeter socket and start taking these uh, mounts off. So yeah, get on that. So just 10 millimeter socket. And we'll loosen, loosen these two, uh, two bolts here and take those off and uh, once we get those out we'll go to the next step this passenger side uh, mount has a deal right there that needs to be taken off and then it's connected down here but you actually don't have to um, disconnect it down there you could you just pop this up right here and push the mount down but I'm just gonna leave it connected because this rubber comes straight out the side here or the back there's the old one, as you can see, it's just absolutely trashed. The new one will go down with the big side on the downside of it. And it'll just pop right in there. Probably be easier with two hands. But, um, yeah. I'm going to put the phone down and pop it in there, but it'll just pop right in there. In that uh, spot. Oh, come on, thing. Go in there. You know you want to. Look at that. It installed. No. <laughs> Give me one second. I'll come back. Okay, there there it is installed. And popping it up from underneath, instead of trying to s pop it in from the side, was actually a lot easier. So then you just push the uh, radiator in to meet it. And then you just hand thread the nuts in there. Or the bolts, I mean. I'm sorry hand thread the bolts in place so you don't cross thread it you always want to hand thread to begin with so you don't cross thread and then once it's hand threaded all the way that it'll go then you can tighten it down with a socket or a uh, wrench but uh yeah so this one's installed and I'll just tighten it down with a with a socket and then move on to the next one All right, that's tightened down. You want to make sure to reposition this in that little clip so that it uh, is back to where it needs to be. As you can see, that's already made it a ton stiffer. Um, but now I'll move on to this next side. It's the same process. You just uh, disconnect these uh, uh, these bolts, break them loose, and. It's the exact same thing on this side. It just, uh, this side does not have a hose clamp on it. It's the only difference. But it still has that same uh, connection down there. So I'll just pop it up the same way, prop it up, and uh, replace the rubber on it. Guys, you'll need them eventually. <laughs> but yep, same deal. Just pop that up, pop the old rubber out. It's just worn out, and the new will go in. And this is what I was talking about. I popped it in from the back side, so it's hard to do one-handed. But I popped it in like this, and then just kind of worked it around. Just kind of worked it around. Uh, it's really hard to do one-handed, but yeah, pop, pop it in from, from the back side like that. 
All right, now that the knee rubber's in on this side, pop it in there and put the bolts back in place. And tighten them and tighten them down with the socket. And now that that's installed, look how, uh, look how sturdy this thing is. It's not moving at all. This radiator is not moving at all, it's just sturdy now. So that'll help with the longevity because it's not flexing these hoses nearly as much and all the connection pieces. As you can see, just how wore out that rubber was, it's just absolutely just trashed. So it's amazing what you can do on a car with a 10 millimeter socket. So that's the part number for the uh, Sentra, the 926274. Uh, it's a Dorman product. Um, but like I said, you uh, check out you know what part number your car needs. It's basically the same process on most cars. So good luck with it. Let me know if you have any questions or if this is helpful to you. Thanks. Bye.